Great Britain has a collection of varied landscapes and countryside to rival anywhere else in the world. And the best way to see it is to walk. And we are here to provide some ideas and inspiration. We are the team at Walks Around Britain and we've been discovering some of the most interesting and varied short walks from the Highlands of Scotland to the Channel Islands. We've been there discovering the best walking Britain has to offer. If you thought walking was just about mountains, then think again. We've got walks in the countryside, along water and the coast, through woodlands and forests, up fells and hills, around historic buildings and our industrial past. And not forgetting walks through our towns and cities. Walks to do by yourself, in a group, or with your family, be they the human or canine kind. Along the way, we'll be telling fascinating stories about the landscape, its people and its history. It's all designed to get you out and inspired to experience it for yourselves. Welcome to Walks Around Britain. And you're very welcome to another edition of Walks Around Britain. Now on today's programme, for our walks between two to eight miles, we're in Essex and in Lee. Later in the programme, I visit Lee for a lovely urban walk. But first, it's to Essex and the village of Roxwell, just four miles west from Chelmsford. The walk starts at the north of the village, threads its way through the church grounds past the playing fields and back to the start via wide open fields. It's a walk of just over three miles and should take about one and a half hours. Roxwell dates back at least 600 years and some of the buildings here still retain original features. I've parked in the car park next to the Roxwell Memorial Hall. But you can get here on the bus from Chelmsford. So from the car park, it's a left to walk along the road called the street. But only for a little while, as the walk follows a public footpath through this stone wall and into the yard of Roxwell's church. The parish church of St Michael and All Angels. The church is open every day for private prayer or just quiet contemplation. Although it's thought the church is probably 14th century in origin, the building was so completely restored in the 19th century that little of the original remains. So much so that most of the stained glass is from the 19th or 20th century. Despite its heavy restoration, the church was given a Grade 2 star listing in 1967, mainly due to its good medieval fabric. Unfortunately, the condition of the church has placed it on Historic England's Heritage at Risk register as a building identified as at risk of being lost as a result of neglect, decay or inappropriate development. With the church, it is decay. It's a sunny day today, but incredibly windy, so the hat might have to go in my backpack at some stage today. So from the church, the walk follows the recent houses along Church Green. Before taking the clearly signed public footpath at the side of a garden. After climbing one of the several styles on the walk, you're presented with this epic skyscape. 
the benefit of wide, open and mainly flat landscapes in Essex. Here, there isn't a made footpath, but the right of way across this field is fairly clear, thanks to a tractor path. And that's the hat coming off for a while. A right takes me past the playing fields, which are the home of the Roxwell Blues Cricket Club before I turn left and do a bit of road walking along Stonehill Road. On narrow country roads such as these, stay safe by keeping as near as possible to a side with a white line. It's not long before a public footpath takes me to the right, along the boundary of Stonehill Farm. With all the rain we've had recently, this section is particularly boggy. This is Roxwell Brook, a tributary of the River Cam, the river which runs through the centre of Chelmsford. Taking a right here would actually make a shortcut of the walk. So left it is here. Bringing me out onto land, which is open horse pasture. I think the wind is dying down a bit, so I'll risk my hat again, as I'm following the line of the brook for around half a mile, and turning right to follow a boundary of fields. With the wispy clouds today, these open skies are particularly stunning. This section is very tiring, as the land rises from some 46 metres above sea level at the bottom of the hill to a massive 55 metres above sea level here. I love low level walks as much as walking in the hills, especially as there's little chance of losing your hat on walks on the flat. With this wind, it's almost like looking at ripples on a pond. There's another boggy section here, but that gives away to the firm tracks leading through Tai Hall Farm. leads between farm buildings, so excellent signage helps to point walkers like me in the right direction. After passing the pond, we're back into open fields again. Mm. 
Now, if you ever spot examples of useless styles and gates like this, please send us a photo on social media to add to our collection. Kissing gate takes me through fields. And back to the car park on the street. Proof there that you don't have to have hills for a really enjoyable walk. Now after the break, we go to the northwest of England to Lee for a walk along the guided busway. Welcome back. Now, this next walk is a linear walk and it's along a guided busway in the northwest of England. So it's to Lee, a town in the metropolitan borough of Wigan, for this urban walk. It starts at the beginning of the guided bus section in Lee and follows it for a four and a half mile easy bimble past Tisley to the end of the guided bus section at Ellenbrook. It's a really easy walk so shouldn't take longer than one and a half hours. Lee is one of the largest towns in Britain without a railway station. So the lee salford manchester scheme aimed to get the town better connected with the wider Greater Manchester area. A large part of the scheme is the guided busway along the track bed of an old railway line, which has bus stops rather like tram stops. It's all part of a wider scheme by Transport for Greater Manchester to improve public transport in the area. A nice touch are these boards along the route, providing insights into interesting local history. For this walk, I'm being joined by Tracy Morris, the wellbeing coordinator for walks from Inspiring Healthy Lifestyles. So if you've never seen a guided busway before, it's really a mix of a railway or tramway, but using buses. These specially built vehicles can act as conventional buses on normal roads. But when they enter the guided busway, little curb guiding wheels steer the buses so they act like trains on a track. Because the width of the guided busway is less than the original old railway track bed, it's possible to incorporate a wide path alongside it without needing any more land. So the walk today is along this multi-user path which starts next to the park and ride. So this is our Lee Guided Busway. This is where we're going to start and we're going to go and do the length of it. You're going to absolutely see some absolutely beautiful green spaces along the way. And then you can walk the whole long and come back on the bus? Yes! Because this path is either tarmacked or hard surface, it is perfect for people with limited mobility and for people with pushchairs. The guided busway crosses Holden Road here, and so do we. and then we cross the guided busway itself to continue on the left side. The services are provided by 25 of these double-deckers, which are fitted with CCTV and next-stop announcements, 
so you'll never miss your stop. And in case you're interested, they are Volvo B5LH buses with Wright Eclipse Gemini 3 bodies. I'm sure you wanted to know. As I mentioned, the path is multi-user, so you'll be sharing it with cyclists and possibly horse riders too. And it's perfect for off-the-lead dog walking, providing you keep an eye out for those cyclists and horses. It's not long before we're out into some lovely urban open spaces. As part of the scheme, 25,000 trees were planted to create a 24-acre community forest at higher folds on the right here. And that isn't the only woodland along the route. So what's this over on this side then, Tracy? Oh, this is uh, Wilford Park. So Wilford Park is a lovely wooded area. Uh, it has a children's play area, but it also has outdoor gym equipment. So for all those wanting to get active outdoors and use gym equipment and it's free you can go into Lilford Park and it's just that entrance there it's just yes just to the, just to the left yeah. farmland possibly not a site you'd expect to see in the middle of Greater Manchester This whole area was once one of the most important coal fields in Britain, the Lancashire coal field. In 1907, there were over 350 collieries in the Lancashire area. By 1960, there were just 21, and the last pit, Parkside Colliery, closed in 1993. The guided busway and this multi-user path is part of the plan to regenerate these former mining communities. At Tidesley, the path crosses to the other side of the busway for a short section and it's important to be careful whilst crossing because these buses really move. Tracy is passionate about getting more people in the borough of Wigan out walking and this urban greenway is a great easy path for beginners of all ages. Here there's space to breathe. And there's always one or two surprises along the way. Now you might think that walking alongside buses speeding by would be noisy and smelly. But in truth, as these buses are hybrids, they aren't noisy or smelly at all. The great thing about a linear walk is, you can never get lost.
So this is the end of the guided busway section and we cross here for the stop to get a bus back to Lee. After a surprising walk through the sprawl of Greater Manchester. So the great thing about that walk is that at any point you can decide to stop and go back to where you started from on the bus. And if you want any more information about that walk or any one that we've done in our series, you can find out all the information on our website, walksaroundbritain.co.uk. And if you've got any photos or videos you'd like to share with us from your walks, you can join us on our social media channels, which are on the screen now. Well, until next time, thanks for watching and happy walking. <laughs>